Well, welcome to the smear campaign. Well, this is Eric of Covenant of Love, and today I feel vindicated. I feel that um, I have weeded out the individuals that are not good people and have found one good person within the group of them. Uh, MDL D40 included uh, regarding me has no claim to this fight at all because she hasn't made any real videos and the ones that she has are all airheaded. Um, I have been betrayed uh, from Bill's troll channel, which is CIA something or other. You saw it in the last video. Uh, Trampled on Snakes 2, uh, MDL D40, and Bill have all tried to make me out to be a Nazi. Um, or a Nazi uh, KKK member, even though I'm the one trying to air out the truth. It's just like watching the Republican Party. Guys, I'm not running for president, okay? I'm one truth seeker trying to put out some real information for real people. And I know it's the tip of the iceberg as far as some of the things that are out there. And uh, much respect to people that are more compassionate than others. But the bottom line is, the more I look at Bill and start to look at the numbers surrounding, like even the side he made, the CIA uh, Jewish tax collector or something, he's got all the Kabbalah numbers. It's the, whole, the whole site is filled with the Kabbalistic numbers, just like his name. Bill is eight. Bill is the box. And uh, something was bothering me, and I was trying to figure out what it was. And, and for all of you guys that are trying to get this numerology thing, I know the Sephiroth and the Tree of Life, God is 10, correct? So they all keep calling me Eric, E-R-I-C. I'm like, why, why do they keep doing it? Why, why do they keep calling me Eric when my, my name is spelled E-R-I-C-K? And then I added it up and realized it's nine. So they're still trying to keep me in this Pythagorean box instead of allowing me to be Eric, which adds up to 10. Thanks for the present MDL D40. Uh, but, you know, besides the other six videos or five videos where you completely trash me and in every other comment, uh, uh, I'm a shithead, uh, I'm a piece of crap, I'm the worst thing in the world. What I want you guys to see and the reason I'm doing these videos because I'll bring the other, you know, if you look at most of my videos, I'm pretty much telling you the thing. I only got two real videos left to give to you guys. All the answers are in the rest. Take the time. I'll put more books out for those that like to read a little bit. But the bottom line is you can see the consistent, constant hate. There's a real, real hate there. And this is this is the truth. There, you cannot have hate and love. They don't, they don't mix. It's like water and oil. Okay, these individuals are hateful. Okay, I don't even hate my worst enemy, and I mean that sincerely. The person, the person that put this, and when it almost lost my arm, you can talk to my coworkers, and they'll tell you, I don't, I don't harbor any ill feelings toward a gentleman that shot me, much less these these retards that are on here trying to prove somehow that either I'm evil or they're smarter than somebody else. The truth is. The meat prices are going up. You know, there's there's no there's no uh, grass to graze. Okay, there's the fish is all poison. This is reality, and it's coming down the pike. For those of you that care about one another, that you care about people around you, prepare to be somebody counted on. Don't don't just take care of yourself. Be able to be counted on within your community, your friends, your neighbors. Uh, right now. A, a real gentleman went on to MDL D40 and he said, hey man, you know, I guess he knows him and he knows me and he goes, he goes, why don't, you know, I'd love to get you guys together, you make up, blah, blah, blah. And, and MDL said that if I was down, I'm the kind of person that would kick you in the face if you were down. Now, the only person that I know of that has ever made such a disgusting remark is when Bill made the video about this gentleman falling down in a hole and somebody going to help him. He was like, what kind of idiot goes down to help somebody? Well, let me tell you about Americans, okay? Let me tell you about people that I know that were in the Navy. I've had some friends that were in the Navy, and uh, one day he looks down in this hole and he sees, he sees three dead people in a hole. Uh, there was a Freon leak. 
The first guy went down, he died. The second guy went down to try to help him, he died. The third guy went down to help him, they all died. Okay? People will help each other. There is a compassionate, loving soul. Not all of us are out for the greed, for the power, for the black cube. Okay? These Kabbalists, because Bill is a Kabbalist, and at first, and I'm going to be really frank with you guys, um, you know, Donna and, and Chance are telling me these guys are Kabbalists. They're Kabbalists. I, you know, I knew the bad things about the Talmud as far as how they talked about children and if, say, a Goyim's murdered. I had seen these videos, and um, unless you read Hebrew, it's kind of hard for me. I, I, even though it's interpreted into English, it's hard for me to say that's what the texts say without really seeing. I'm not here to try to tell you I know something unless I can kind of get a aspect of it from a whole bunch of different ways. But basically what these guys keep doing is they keep taking... Uh, anything that I say which is truthful and they twist it into some manipulated thing and at this point I, I just think that they really are mentally twisted and they don't they don't see things clearly they can't because there's there's a certain amount of hate you know that being said I don't mind all the bad things you guys have said about me I could care less how much you make fun of me all the videos you guys trample on snakes too. showed all my friends your video uh, <clears throat> MDL D40 I show, you know, show my friends the videos you make about me. I walk away, they're all laughing. I don't care. And that's what you don't get the concept of, is I see reality, and I see what's coming up ahead, and that's that's the hurting of the world. Now, Africa, people talk about tribulation. Africa's been in tribulation, okay? People have been dying. The wars have been going on. We've just been sheltered. Now we're feeling it too as they move this puzzle piece around. This, what I would say is a 300, maybe a 500 year puzzle piece that they they move around the earth and they change who's who's doing better than the other we as americans need to show compassion and stick together okay there are a group of kabbalists that are on the internet okay i don't know at, at this point there's one individual that i i just get a feeling i'm not sure because i could be wrong but i just get a feeling about one of the individuals uh and i don't think that one of them is one of them I don't think is, but he's still all messed up and evil as all hell. But there's three or four of them that they're Kabbalists. And it's in the numbers, you guys. You guys got to do that simple, it's just a simple one. I put some more updated ones that are more complex, but but that regular, you know, one is A or A is one and, and, and Z, you know, it, that one. Okay, all the rest of the ones that are following them, I don't really care about any of them. I care about you guys that are on the fence that are looking at this stuff and uh, you know take everything with a grain of salt yes the media is everything you're seeing with them sure sure there's there's some kind of TV show to it I don't know about the purple thing with the Baphomet picture in it but you know there's a lot of numerical things you can get like uh, you know some guy that follows one of the ones also came on to me today didn't come on to me but he came on to my video and he started talking stuff because I like football they're all fixed and if you take all all the uh you know nfl afc you know you can add up all these things and find all sorts of stuff it's all kabbalah because kabbalah runs the world it is what it is now that being said the romans have it the egyptians have it the masons have it everybody has the kabbalah it's older than the jewish text because they borrowed it from other people okay hinduism plays a huge part in it but let's be friends. Let's 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 overcome all this and keep seeking. Um, I, I'm going to take a, a, some time off, probably at the end of this week. I'm, I'm going to be done for a little bit, not for not too long, but just I've got to clear my head about all this crap. Uh, you know, when I got the murder threat, <clears throat> okay, I, I I've had people try to kill me, and I have I have to take it seriously, and that kind of thing weighs on you. When, uh, for me, I'm at the end of this journey. This journey is coming to an end. Things are going to be happening that are real. Uh, this guy Spacey, this atheist that I was dealing with, who bet me, you know, bread's going to go up, and he's all, no, everything's going to be fine, and uh, you're going to be old and gray to see your kids old. Okay, I see what's coming up, and, and that's not what's happening. I see what's going on in Anaheim. I see the mili militarization of this here country. And um, 
there's always two ways that it goes. You know, I can see why they would need it. I can see why they might need FEMA camp. I see both sides of this. It's, life to me is a dualism and it's a double-edged sword. Each, each side cuts. So to all you guys that are haters, uh, hate. Hate because you're blinded by it. You cannot see until you love, till you, till you clean your heart <clears throat> and you love your enemies. You cannot see the truth. And I mean that sincerely to all of you guys. I appreciate the time and effort and the work because it doesn't seem like any of you guys actually work. It seems like you're all staying at home. Uh, uh, regarding me, oh, Eric looks older, Eric looks tired. That's because I have a full-time job. I have a family, I have chores, I have responsibilities. <clears throat> there are things that I have to do besides just this. It was me reaching out to the world after back surgeries, after being having three surgeries on my arm, after being shot, that made me want to reach out and tell you guys I love you. No matter what, man, I love you guys. Pedophiles, eh, you know, murderers, rapists, people that are violent towards women and children, people that are just violent unnecessarily, I'm working on it. But we can do this, you guys, and we, we're gonna need to come together as a nation, and uh, we're gonna need to change a lot of things. You know, one being abortions, they're just, regardless of where you're at in it, because I believe in a, a woman's, I believe in anybody's right to choose. But uh, I don't think it should be a lifestyle. Um, I hope everybody's well. I hope you guys are taking care of your community. I hope you guys are doing what it takes to, to be on the other side. Um, it's going to be a real, you know, it's going to be amazing. But, uh, you know, my grandfather went through the depression and uh, I saw the scars that left on him emotionally. And this is for real. And there's there's no jokes. And, and we can... We can look at the secrets and tidbits all day long, but in the end, it's going to be your community that saves you and, and you being uh, a real human being with compassion, not a not a, uh, a guy that's spending, you know, days making a troll channel and videos and uh, just pushing hate all day long. Those people aren't giving you anything that's going to get you to the other side. It's going to be strength and compassion and love. If you see somebody that's down, help them up, pick them up. Don't kick them in the teeth and don't don't try to tell me that you know somebody else is going to. You know, until you've been there, you know, you don't know. Okay, I'll tell you, when I, when I was laying there with my arm almost blown off and sitting in front of a house screaming for help, nobody helped me, okay? And they were, I could hear them in the house. Nobody helped me, okay? This is something you've got to do for yourself. And it's up to you to make the difference. There, there's nobody that you need to count on but yourself. <clears throat> Give yourself up to everybody else and you'll, you'll get, a, I promise you, there will be a reward. And it's not, it's not something you give where you're, yeah, why do I have to give it? When you really, really give it, you'll find the answer. And, and I give you my word that it'll change your life. This is Erica Covenant of Love, man. Peace and uh, prosperity to everybody.